Hello guys, this is again Paul Veloscoro from Laravel Daily and we continue building our LMS system on Laravel 5.4. In today's lesson we or video, whatever you call it, we will actually create lessons. So here's our LMS now. I'm logged in as a teacher. I have two courses for testing and I want to add lessons. For now, lessons are in a separate menu item, a separate CRUD, and we will change that a little later. But for now, what we want to do is uh, check if if we need to change anything in adding the lesson. So first thing I notice is I can choose course, and I can access courses by other teachers, which I don't really want. Only administrator can do that. So for now, uh, not sure if you've watched the last lesson. I've created a scope in course called scope of teacher, which actually checks if it's admin, then it's nothing changes. If it's a teacher, it adds a parameter to the query. So in lesson controller, in create uh, method, what we need to do is just add of teacher. And for those who did watch the last video, that's, <clears throat> that's where the scopes are really useful because uh, you can re reuse them like this. So now when I'm trying to create a lesson, I will see only my courses and we should do the same thing in edit lesson. Okay, fine with this one. Next, let's go through more fields and let's see if we have any problems here. I don't think so. Text fields. This one, position. It shouldn't be uh, as an input. It shouldn't be this way. It should be automatically filled in. So let's do it now. First, we remove that field from uh, create blade and uh, edit blade. So we wouldn't even see the position. It would be set automatically as the last lesson plus one. All right, so we'll have position here. Then we need to remove that in requests from what I remember. Yes, store lesson request from validation roles. It's not required anymore. Okay, and now we have to add that logic to the controller. So controller store method uh, is generated by quick admin panel again, and we need to add the position field here automatically. There are multiple ways how to handle that. You can uh, set an attribute in the model or uh, put the logic in a controller. So I will do exactly that. So with request all, I will add an array of position equals lesson where course ID equals request course ID um, max position plus one. I think that would work. Well, to make it more readable, let's put it in another line. Um, I think that's okay. Let's see how it works actually. So currently we don't have any lessons in our in our table. And let's refresh the page. Create page should not contain position. So we choose the course, first lesson, and don't fill anything else because it's optional. And we hit save. And there you go, position is one. So if we add another lesson, the position will be two. Let's try second lesson, second lesson. Again, no position here. And position number two. Actually, what happens if we edit the lesson? The field is not present, but it shouldn't be updated at all or changed. Position stays at two. So now we're good in terms of position. Um, the only thing we can add here is changing the position, like drag and dropping or uh, putting it with arrows up or down. I'm uh, not sure whether we will handle that in this lesson. For now, let's stick to, to this uh, to this editing. So you can change the position not in, in sequence uh, necessarily, but you can add like 5, 10 or 20 and uh, it will be fine for now. Okay, next thing I want to do is remove a few fields here from the table. It seems pretty uh, long. So if we go to lessons index blade, 
uh, let's remove what we actually need is course title position probably and whether it's free lesson and is it published or not uh, so course title position uh, then it's published or not and that's it let's refresh the page and we're good now uh, next thing if I add more uh, lessons to like second course for example I have two courses here second or like another course first lesson leave everything empty and I have three uh, three lessons but they belong to two courses but what if I want to focus on my own course like the newest course and I have for example like hundreds of lessons so I want to have a list of lessons by the course so what if we add some parameter like course ID equals X in get so let's do exactly that um, in lessons controller in the list of lesson we add uh, actually lessons new lesson and then lessons I'll change that here lessons like that should work I hope it will work um, lessons where actually if uh, request input uh, course ID we filter the lessons by sorry where course ID equals request course ID mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's see if it works mm, yeah it it doesn't break <laughs> the thing so what if we add course ID here course ID equals one mm, no nothing really happens request input course ID actually is it even going here let's check yeah it does go here so lessons okay I need to add here lessons like that all okay just to get No lessons by course ID one. So what is our course ID? Maybe it's not one. Oh, actually it's two and four. Okay. There you go. We have course two and course four. So what we do now is after storing the lesson or after editing the lesson, let's redirect to uh, to the correct thing. Redirect route admin lesson, um, and we add a parameter course ID equals request course ID um, yeah we should be good and let's try so we create a lesson for the first course third lesson and let's see where we're redirected course ID 2 that's exactly how it should be and here and update the lesson we should be redirected to probably yeah same request course ID so if we edit the lesson third lesson two or something we should be redirected to course ID two uh, and the last thing what I want to want to do here is in courses add another button uh, called lessons which will redirect to the actual list of the lessons 
of that course. So list of courses, and we go to course view and course edit. Uh, probably it should be here. Um, so admin lessons index. Well, we don't even need the show method here. Um, course ID course ID equals course ID and lang global app view. Let's go to our translations global um, lessons title. Lessons title. I think that should be okay and yeah, we're good to have lessons and we go to the lessons of that particular course. That's what we wanted to do here. And the final thing I wanted to I want to do in this lesson, I'm trying to stick to to the schedule of one lesson being 10 to 15 minutes to not overwhelm you. So the final thing is actually restricting some security thing. So I'm here logged in as a teacher, right? Uh, I see my lessons, but what if I log out and log in as another teacher? I go to lessons and I see the same lessons. I don't see courses because it's not like it's restricted by scope, but in lessons, I still see all lessons and that should be fixed. So in the lessons list, instead of just taking all the lessons, we will change that to lesson where in course ID and we use the same scope. I think it's this way. And yep, no entries. And let's get back to the main teacher and see and see if we still see our lessons. Yes, we see our lessons. So that line is actually again reusing the same scope, but for another purpose, for purpose of lessons. So now I think we are good uh, to go to create lessons. And in the next video, in the next lesson, we will go to actually tests and questions and question options to attach tests to the lessons. See you in the next video.